It's Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Washing and Painting. In this YouTube video, we're going to talk about a parking lot striping job that was a little bit unusual. If you want to know exactly how much I charge for this parking lot striping project, I'll leave the price down in the description. Also, I want to give a shout out to John out in Mobile, Alabama, that just joined the All Pro Parking Lot Striping Course this week, along with three other people. We're very excited to get them up and running and started in their own striping business. If you'd like to find out more information, there'll be a link in the description to my website, BillyDavidsonVIP.com. This particular customer that we're working for in this video is a deacon at a small country church here in Louisiana. They needed some striping done ASAP. What made this a little bit unusual was this parking lot really needed to be surface cleaned. And we let the customer know that up front Ideally, we'd be like to come in and surface clean all of this concrete and then let it dry for a couple of days before we come back and paint the parking lines. They did not have that much time allowance. They needed this done ASAP. So what we're probably going to do in the next 12 months or so is come in and surface clean all of this concrete and then repaint the lines again. And we explained all that to them very carefully, but given the circumstances, they needed this done now. So knowing that they were under this extreme time crunch and did not have time for us to come in surface clean and then time for the allowance to dry and plus we had some bad weather moving in, I put in an additive to this paint. Actually, I'm going to be adding some of that information to the All Pro Parking Lot Striping Course. So if you ever run across a dirty parking lot where it has to be striped right away, Sometimes you can put this additive in it to go ahead and get the job done and it'll last about a year. But all of this does need to be explained to the customer because it is an extra expense on us to add this additive to the paint. But like I said, given the circumstances, this was the best that we could do. In the parking lot striping business, you will find customers that have an extreme time crunch to get a parking lot repainted. And there could be a multiple reasons. Maybe they violated a city code. Maybe there was a slip and fall. Maybe there's an event going on at a certain facility. It could be a wedding. It could be a party. It could be a retirement party. We have seen it all. And sometimes these people need it done right away. So we have to let them know that ideally we want the surface very clean before we paint. But sometimes it is what it is and you just got to do what you got to do to get the job done and make your customer happy in addition the customer wanted to change the white parking lines in this parking lot to yellow so that was a little bit additional charge and we let him know that up front another piece of circumstance that drove the price up on this particular job was that the ada markings were not visible so we had to do a new layout on the ada markings also guys i teach that in the eight hour all pro parking lot striping course that you can find on our website we do teach how to do new layout billy davidson here with davidson pressure washing and painting in this video we're going to give you a couple pointers on how to estimate parking lot striping jobs this is going to be something that give you a couple little tips and tricks from a pro that we've been doing this for about 28 years this may help you out and we're also going to do another walkthrough on the pricing the very specific pricing that's going to be included in our all pro parking lot striping course if you're already a member that'll be a free upgrade to you if you haven't joined it yet check out the information down in the description. all right guys a couple things you want to remember whenever you're estimating a commercial parking lot striping job a couple things you want to remember is a measuring wheel is your best friend don't try to guess at how much curbing needs to be painted we want to measure this and we charge our customer per linear foot. So this is gonna tell us exactly how many linear feet we have. We're gonna show you some of that as well. And again, we're gonna put all that pricing information inside the course. That way, if you're already a member of it, that'll be a free upgrade. In addition to that, you want to have some high-vis clothing on or either a company shirt. And guys, also carry a business card with you as well because it's very likely somebody's going to approach us when we estimating this. This is actually a CVS. We're going to spin around and take a look at it as well. We got a call from the corporate office to estimate this job. So we really don't need to make contact with the people inside. You can if you want. Generally, 
I'm want to be here as little as time as I can because I got about 10 more to quote out today. So I don't want to walk in the store and have to find a manager and all that because he's not going to be the decision maker in this process anyway. So, but I will keep this business card in case he steps out. I can introduce myself. And I also have the contact information of the people who contacted me. That way he know I'm legit out here. So we're gonna go through a couple things on what you need to do whenever you estimate kind of how to measure this stuff, what things to look out for. And again, we're gonna put the exact prices in the all pro parking lot striking court. So we're gonna spin around, we're gonna do some measurements. I'm gonna show you a couple things that you need to look out when estimating it, just to make sure you're counting everything and making sure this process can go as smoothly as possible. All right, guys, first thing first, you want to count everything that has been painted before. Directional arrows, light pole base, in this case, has not been painted before. And there are several types of directional arrows out here. I don't know why. Whoever striked it before did that. It's pretty common you're gonna find that in your situation is too. And another thing I'm looking at is, does this parking lot need pressure wash? before I can stripe it and it's iffy. It doesn't necessarily absolutely have to be, but it would be ideal if we could come in and wash this. So I'm gonna line item that as well in my price. You will see that in the uh, all pro striping course. I'm gonna put a little sample contract too in there for this particular CVS. But you can see this thing's nasty. It looks like it's been washed before, but look, they didn't wash behind the wheel stops for whatever reason, that's awful. These wheel stops have been painted before. They're in bad shape. A minimum, they're gonna have to be wire brushed down. Again, I would like to pressure wash them, but we'll see whatever the customer elects to do on that case. Now, there are sometimes I will just refuse to do the job unless they pressure wash it. That probably wouldn't be the case on this job. Another thing we're looking at is these lines are faded. If we did wash this parking lot, most likely the little bit of line that we can see will go away. So we'll have a layout. This would be really easy to lay out because the wheel stops are already in place. They're not going anywhere and we can kind of recall or remember where they go. So think about that if there's gonna be any layout or if you if it's visible enough to stripe it at night, because we're not gonna be able to stripe this during the daytime with all this busy traffic. We'll come in here late at night and stripe it. So can I see this at night? This one probably not so much, but most of them we can make out even under nighttime, night working, night hours. So we're gonna measure this, this curbing again. We're just using this measuring wheel I don't know what they cost, Apex, 20 bucks or whatever. Yeah, and that thing has made us hundreds of thousands of dollars because you don't want to estimate how many curbing feet you have. Then we're going to do an itemized count. We're going to kind of bring you along for the ride. So as you see here, Apex is measuring the wheel. Now, also, he has been instructed to check that number occasionally to make sure it's making sense. Because believe it or not, I've had a measuring wheel just go crazy on me and... You know, like 50 feet end up being like 12 feet. Like it just measured it wrong. So you want to just make sure this is making sense for you. If I had to estimate right now, we probably had about 45 feet. Where we at on there? 55. 55. So, yeah, of course I'm off. I'm not a measuring wheel, but at least it's making sense, if that makes any sense. So let's keep on rolling on. Now, in this case, we have the step and the riser that needs to be restriped. What he is rolling on is the step. The vertical part is called a riser. You'll want to put that in your estimates as well. To start a parking lot striping business in 2024. Before we get started in this parking lot striping video, I want to give a shout out to the three newest members of the All Pro Parking Lot Stripe course. We have Kyle out in Little Rock, Arkansas. We have Caden in Branson, Missouri, and also Joe in Linville, North Carolina. And most importantly, I am very proud of one of my outstanding students that topped over seven figures in 2023, one of our VIP students to the All Pro Parking Lot Striping course. We are going to have him on the YouTube channel here coming up in the next few weeks. So make sure you like and subscribe to hear his story, how he made net gross over $1 million in 2023 in his second year of parking lot striping. After mentoring and instructing a few dozen parking lot striping businesses in 2023, I come away with some fundamental basics 
for starting a parking lot striping business for optimal success. Number one, choosing the correct business name for your parking lot striping business. This is very, very important. You always want the terminology of parking lot striping in the business name. For example, if I'm starting a business in Dallas, Texas for parking lot striping, I would name my business Dallas parking lot striping. Another example, let's say you're starting a business in the panhandle of Florida. You can call your business panhandle parking lot striping. Keep it sweet and simple. This is very important for the terminology for Google search engine to pick up on your website. Number two that a lot of people overlook is getting the proper training. Whether you're going to do an apprenticeship under another company in your area or purchase our training on our website, the proper training is very important. You can end your career on your first job. I've seen this happen before where guys get the equipment, they get out there and they start striping and they mess everything up and it's all over with before it gets started. So please, please, please do yourself a favor and get the proper training. If you're interested in my training, you can visit my website, billydavidsonvip.com. Also, there's a promotional code right now that can save you hundreds of dollars. The coupon code is Billy499 for a limited time only. For this purchase, you will get over 14 hours of exclusive video training and access to me and Apex for mentorship as you grow your parking lot striping business. And just please be careful on who trains you. There's some guys out there that's been in this business for six months and look more power to them, but I've been doing this for over 30 years and I know this business like the back of my hand. I know what will make you succeed. I also know what will make you fail. Make sure you get the proper training from the right people. Number three, choosing the right equipment. There's basically two types of equipment out there that we recommend. As you see here in this video, we're using the Titan 3500. Also, we do recommend a Graco 3400, but my go-to machine is a Titan 3500. You will never outgrow it, and it is capable of doing small jobs and even very large jobs. As you start your new parking lot striping business, we can call this the three-legged stool. You want to pick your business name like we talked about. You want to get the proper equipment, and also get to proper training. Oftentimes, marketing takes several weeks, if not a couple months, to get traction to start getting these calls in. Once you start to receive the calls, you have to meet with the customers, provide an estimate, and then schedule the jobs. Sometimes these jobs are very large, tens of thousands of dollars. There's deposits that need to be put in place. There's also paint that needs to be ordered. So you can start doing your marketing right away as soon as you pick your business name. My favorite ways to market is through email marketing. Also, believe it or not, yard signs for parking lot striping has been highly effective for us to get new clients. In addition, you'll need a Google My Business listing. Also, you'll need some type of website. It does not have to be fancy. Create a Facebook business page for your new business and even do some Instagram work. Make sure that your business name is plastered all over each platform along with your service and the location that you're serving and you will be successful. Please check out our website to get the proper training that you deserve, BillyDavidsonVIP.com. And don't forget that special promotional code for a limited time only, Billy. 499. Hey guys, Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Wash and Painting, Hammond, Louisiana. Thanks for joining us in this video. Hope you're having a great afternoon. I'm going to show you a little bit of what we're doing today. We're taking a soft wash skid, Southeast Soft Wash, one of the best soft wash skids out there, guys. We're taking his soft wash skid today, and it's going to be an important tool in a parking lot striping. All right, guys, as you just was hearing, this soft wash skid is going to be an important tool in our parking lot striping job today. Reason being, this parking lot's filthy, and that means the parking lines are filthy as well, and we don't want to paint over that. Some guys that do it, but not us. The job really won't last that long. So what we're going to do with this soft wash kit, since they have elected not to power wash the entire parking lot, we're going to just clean the parking lines exactly where the paint's going to go. We have selected the correct paint today, with the temperature being what it is, the humidity be to be in what it is, and also the surface that we painted. There is about 12 or 13 different types of DOT traffic paints out there and selecting the correct one is imperative. Using the wrong paint on this, this job will last about seven to 10 days 
even before your check comes the paint peels up and then obviously they're not going to pay you so selecting the right paints always very important we go over all of that in the all pro parking lot striping course check out the link in the description also i'll pin a comment you can go to billydavisonvip.com to find out more information about that eight hour all pro parking lot striping course if you're interested in starting to doing some parking lot striping in your area you can make a ton of money doing it it's definitely a market that has not been really tapped into extensively so again this parking lot needs to be power washed they don't want to power wash i tried to upsell it is what it is but at least we've got the striping job and it's paying a few thousand dollars so what we're going to try to do is just coat the parking lot itself and not the surrounding concrete now a little bit may get on him and you know change the color of it but it's still important to coat that entire line thoroughly and then we're going to show you something interesting after we let that sit we're going to come back with another cleaning method and show you what we do there so y'all hang tight we'll be back in a little bit all right guys as you see here i'm about to coat this parking line now i got this little choke valve right here this is not good to do all the time for the pump but just for today's sake i'm going to barely crack it and you're going to see it starting to come out and i'm going to just walk this down just like this and lay our cleaning solution on that line and then i'm gonna cut it off what i did i pretty much laid my cleaning solution right down the middle of that line i know it's going to spread out and start to cover the entire line if i would have covered the entire line then it would have spread out onto the edges so i just straight down the middle of it you could also do this with a pump up sprayer as well but since we have this phenomenal skid here why not just use it save a little extra time but again you could do it with a pump up sprayer just lay that cleaning solution right down in line it'll kind of spread out as it uh you know starts to evaporate and starts doing this cleaning so we're going to go do each line like this we've got a bunch of them to do we're going to do our adas our direction arrows then again i'm going to show you how we're going to finish up cleaning this preparation work So guys, we're about to wrap this up. We got just a little bit more to go cleaning these parking lines, and then we're gonna be back restriping them tomorrow or either the following day. So if you wanna see more of these videos, please hit that subscribe button and a notification bell. Also go check out our training page if you're interested in learning more about parking lot striping. For a limited time only, you can use the promotional code Billy499 Again, that's Billy499 at checkout to reduce the price to the All Pro Parking Lot Strike. Of course, again, that is for a limited time offer. So go ahead and hop in while you can. Again, I'm Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Wash and Painting. We hope to see you in the next video. Learning the techniques and everything. And man, that's what I really appreciate. I found something else that I wanted to show y'all. We are um, striping some very long lines. And I'm going to show y'all um, from start to finish on one of these very long lines. 
These long lines are for basically an 18-wheeler parking spot. And when you're pricing these out, either you can walk down them and measure them, get your footage if you charge them by the linear foot. So here we go with this long line. In our case tonight, these lines equal to about five regular parking lines. So you got to account for that for the time that it takes to do it. And then the, uh, the paint that you're putting on the ground as well. That's the end of it. I'll go back and have y'all take a look at the length of this line. So there's an 18 wheel of parking spot basically. So anyway, I've uh, got a couple other things in mind that I'm going to show y'all. So I'm going to break away from this and um, I'll be back in a few. Guys, I get asked all the time how long it takes striping paint to dry on the ground once you spray it. So we're going to do a little demonstration here. And you can keep track with the timestamp on the YouTube video. So obviously we just sprayed it. I'm not going to cut away none whatsoever. I'm going to stay staring at this line right here. So you'll see how fast it dries. And you can gauge it yourself with the timestamps on YouTube. Again, um, if you're not familiar with me, I'm Billy Davison, the founder of the All Pro Parking Lot Striping Course. I teach over 10 hours of video training that you learn from the comfort of your home. You can do it from your iPhone, iPad, laptop, even on your lunch breaks if you've got a corporate job. And so far, a lot of our students have been incredibly successful with it. Some are earning over six figures in six months starting the parking lot striping business. But one of the very familiar questions the most popular question i guess is asked how long does it take to paint to dry well there's a couple pieces of information you need to know there if we selected the wrong paint for this application meaning the surface that we're striping the ambient temperature the humidity level the dew point are the wrong brand of paint you can have wet paint on the ground for many hours I have actually seen it for up to 12 hours. And what does that mean to you as a business owner, as a striper? Well, you're going to have to babysit this line because this facility is going to be open in here in a few hours. And there's people that need to park here. And if you leave wet paint on the ground, they're unknowingly going to run right over the paint, get it all over the car wheels, get it all over the pavement around it. And if they step in it, get it back and forth into the car or track it into the building and you have a disaster on your hands that's if you use the wrong paint if you're using the right paint you're going to see we just striped that we're going to just kind of touch it here in a minute and see how well it's drying and that will let you know that if you're using the wrong paint you can run into a lot of trouble again we teach this in the all pro parking lot striping course i can't specifically tell you exactly what paint you need to use because i don't know what you're striping where you're striping it again the temperature the surface condition the humidity dew point and things like that and the equipment that you're using or the brand that you're using so that's why we developed all of those video training hours inside of the striping course to teach you this and guys if you've already went through the course you know how well it's put together and if you could leave a comment so some of the new guys can read it down in the comment section i would appreciate it also we've added a test at the end it's 55 questions some people kind of find it quite difficult but look um if you don't do well on a test i'm going to get the results of it and i'll be giving you a call because i have your uh, email and your phone number and we can go over some of your weak points and you know why you may have done poorly on a test or you know what we might can help you out with to get further understanding about the parking lot striping industry and that's what the test does for me as the, the creator of the the course it lets me know is my students picking up on what i'm teaching and so far so good i've had a couple guys fail it but um they barely you know they were they were just about a skin in their teeth basically they failed it and we went over a few things and they retested and they got into the 90 percentile so again we're looking at the timestamp. um i'm gonna see if i can kind of follow along with my phone i think it's been right at three minutes so let's see where we at on this i'm just going to touch it my finger obviously there's no paint make sure you're in camera view nothing there 
And again, if you're following the timestamp, you can verify this. Not cutting away with it. Another thing I want to tell you right here, you see where we couldn't make it past the wheel stop? This is common practice to leave that alone because oftentimes these lines were striped before these wheel stops were put in. Now, I could come back and hand paint these, but I'm probably not because oftentimes as soon as a heavy rain comes in, that tail end of that line right there just gets full of mud and dirt and water and it's probably not going to do much good to it. it's going to be covered up here probably this afternoon after it rains so again it's good and dry look at that now if you were using the wrong paint this stuff would be all over the place so guys think about that you want to get the correct knowledge before you start doing this but once you start doing it you can expect to make many thousands and thousands of dollars a month again guys i'm billy davison here with BillyDavisonVIP.com. There will be a link down in the description if you're interested in the All Pro Parking Lot Striping course. And make sure you check the description because there may be a current promotional code that we keep updating it with. So anyway, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. I'm about to show you how I made $935 in two hours. As I drove by this business, I noticed that the blue handicap markings were faded. And I know that it is federal law that these businesses have to keep these painted and in really good shape. I'm going to put a link to that federal law with the codes and regulations down in the description if you want to read more. So instead of walking into the business handing them my business card for parking lot striping, I decided to do something a little bit better. I took a note of their address and then I created a flyer specific for this location and I mailed it to that location with signature required upon receipt. Oftentimes, the people that's signing for certified mail is in the decision-making loop. Within my flyer that I sent to this business, it did state that we do run a parking lot striping business, and I gently reminded them of the ADA federal law codes and regulations. The next time you're driving around your local area, look for businesses that may need this service. I bet there's at least 50 or 60 locations within a 50-mile radius of you right now that could use those services. If you want to learn more about parking lot striping, check out the description below and the first pinned comment. And you will find my website where you can get training to start a parking lot striping business. I'm about to share with you one of the biggest mistakes I see in the parking lot striping industry. Also, I'm going to share the second biggest mistake I see in the parking lot striping industry, especially with guys just starting out new in the business. In addition, I want to welcome Brian from Louisville, Kentucky, one of our newest members of the All Pro Parking Lot Striping course. And last night, Shane from Atlanta, Georgia joined the All Pro Striping course. In addition, Lewis from Clearwater, Florida. And I look forward to working with you directly. One of the biggest mistakes I see guys just starting out in the business not having the proper training is putting paint down on damp concrete. Sometimes this is hard to recognize with the untrained eye. And that's why we encourage you to get the proper training before starting a parking lot striping business. Damp concrete will cause your paint to flake up and peel the next day. Matter of fact, before they even cut the check. And that's going to have you going back, washing all that flaky paint up and restarting the job again, which could be quite expensive. Not to mention your customer is going to be quite pissed off. And I'm sure you can agree you probably would be too. The second biggest mistake I see guys just starting out in a parking lot striking business is not charging the industry standards for the project. Even though the customer is willing to pay that much more money, you have to put that in the estimate to be in the running. And many times the customer doesn't want the lowest bidder working on their project. For example, God forbid you need a root canal and you call around with several dentists and you find one dentist that is a fraction of the cost of all the other dentists. You're probably not going to go to that particular dentist because you think it's probably some corners are going to be cut. I know for dang sure I wouldn't pick the cheapest dentist. That being said, starting a parking lot striping business can be very challenging, but the pay is incredible and the rewards are great. If you need the proper training, check out my website under the first pinned comment below, and I look forward to working with you directly. Apex is in the house. Big Rob, yo, yo. What's up, Big Rob? We got Big Rob in the house, ladies and gentlemen. We got four people. Keeps on ticking up. Everybody's coming in, man. Everybody leave a comment. Give us a name, location. We'll give you a shout out. 
I like to see where everybody's at. That's so fun finding out like what state they in. A line parking lot striping. A line parking lot striping. We don't know him. He's a shyster. He says, "Yo, I'm coming by." Hey, come bring me some coffee, big man, Big Ben. Hey, um, I'll take decaf with um, two sugars, two creams, I think. Ferris Yasin says the Lion King, Jacksonville, Florida. Nice. Jacksonville, Florida is a huge market over there. We actually talked to a guy out there pretty regular that does pressure washing and striping. That place is booming. A line says 10 4. One time, me and A-Line was in a drive-thru at a McDonald's, and he told that lady, give him six sugar, six creams at McDonald's, and she said, you like your coffee sweet. <laughs> Get it loaded down. Victor says, have a blessed night, brother. Keep up. Victor Nenartivis, Orlando, Florida. Awesome, Victor, man. Thanks for uh, hopping in here for saying hello we appreciate you ferris says plenty of work exclamation mark yeah I mean, we're gonna be out here all night a line better bring us some coffee a line's my competition but you know he's buying a big old new house like dang near four stories tall he sent me a picture of it i was jealous big rob says putting in my largest bid to date whoa man that's what i'm talking about I like those bids where you bring home enough money to buy a new vehicle. Those are the nice ones. I mean, like cash money, where you ain't worried about interest rates and are they going to finance you or are they not? And all that rigmarole, just slap cash on the table. A line says, y'all spraying lines twice? We are. These are really wide. And um, so we're doing left side, right side A line. Um, we just felt it would be a little bit better, sharper edges than try to do them all in one pass. Plus, this kind of counts as a double coat, too, or a coat and a half. So they're getting their money's worth for sure out of this one. Use a little more paint, but the job lasts longer, looks longer. I mean, looks great much longer. Arthur says, I'd be all over this, but guess what? I live in California, and I need a license for that. Yeah, they require a painter's license. I don't think it's that difficult to, um, to take. From my understanding of it, it's a few EPA rules in there. When you do a painter's license, they definitely don't want you... Um, you know, throwing paint down drains, obviously, that would be dumb. Also, painting in wet areas, bathrooms, that sort of thing, different types of paint you use. But um, I know a couple guys that took it out on the East Coast. Um, I think it, they blew right through. It was like 15-minute little test. I could be wrong out there in California. I know they get a little more complicated, but um, need to check into it because it's well worth it. Whatever you got to do to get into striping, I urge you to do it. Big Rob says $9,085. Oh, right, man, that's a 10K job. Yes, Even if you pulled in 60% profit on it, you still, um, hey, you get a few of those each month, you're setting good. Yeah, that's let's walk and talk here. Mike Jones says, how's it going, fellas? Just in time. Big Mike is in the house, Mike Jones. Mike, where are you from, brother? Big Rob says three buildings. Big one is 40,000 square feet. Not bad. Soft washing, I'm sure. Uh, are you doing the roof on it too or just the uh, exterior walls, sidewalks? Or? James Bass says playing in the parking lot again, are we? Man, we like playing out here, brother. One of my favorite places to stripe. Nice and quiet. Got good, pretty decent lighting. You know, we use that headlamp, but uh, you could stripe this without a headlamp if you really wanted to, but we've worked in some dark places where there was no lighting. I mean, you couldn't hardly see your hand in front of your face out there. So when using headlamps, it's good, but also you got to watch these shadows uh, fool you, and you could end up striping somewhere you don't want to stripe. We're not going to do that. Mike Jones says Toronto, Canada. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know where. I've, I've talked to him before. A line. Mike says oil paint question mark yeah this is solvent base paint a line mike y'all hitting some cooler weather yet brother yeah a line we're using some um oil base paint solvent base paint uh here uh tomorrow night we'll be blowing some latex so um just really depends on um you know each surface that we're doing look what i got y'all 
Yeah, brand new. Brand it's a craftsman. We tried. We tried to get a um. What was the other name? Husqvarna. Husqvarna, but they didn't have any there. So it's kind of like right now, get what you can get. Don't throw a fit. I had another one. Apex put real gas in it instead of two cycle. Then he blamed it on Big Chris. And then I was like, man, what y'all doing? And then they was like, they started circling me like they was gonna whoop me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell them, yeah, Apex. Put real gas in a two cycle. Yeah, real gas and real oil. You I, sure I think you it was sure you use the right gas? Can? I think it was the extreme duty cycle. We were doing so much striping, probably, so. and the heat and everything. A little it Ryobi, out. <laughs> it couldn't keep up. It was with a Ryobi. It. Is that what it was? Yeah, I think it was pretty. It was bright, bright, kind of like a shirt. Yeah, I did. I did like it, but we got a a good quality craft. I mean, it's, it is quality, but craftsman. It's decent. Yeah, I mean, I put craftsman a step up. That's I know it's my got, opinion. Um, it's got really good compression when you pull the rope. You can feel that little piston in there hitting hard. Guys, also, I want to mention, I don't know how many of y'all on... Um, 22. 22 people. If y'all looking for the all-pro parking lot striping course, uh, there's not a link in the description because we hadn't done all that yet to it. But BillyDavidsonVIP.com, it's on there. I, I get people every day text me, how can they get the striping course? And um, I get it. You know, a bunch of new people to the channel. We appreciate every one of them. And they just don't know. They want to get into this striping. And you, they need somebody to help them do it. So, um... A-Line can attest to it. A-Line, if you're still on there, uh, he also started out on his hands and knees, and we didn't know a thing when we first started. And But now, man, the good news is you, you're good to go, man. You, you know, we um, almost – I, I kind of want to tell a testimonial, but I don't have the guy's permission to mention his name. But he's out in Tennessee area, Nashville, pressure washing, started adding striping. And uh, he made a million dollars last year striping. And, you know, and Nashville's not the biggest town in the world. Um, they got a lot of money there, but you don't necessarily have to make a million. What if you just make a third of that striping? Uh, uh, you know, a fifth of it. That's I mean, still life-changing yeah, money. I mean, you know, what if you only did 200000 in striping a year? He did a million dollars in striping. Dude. He, 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 he took the course. It took him some time to get on his feet. Six months later, he was texting. I kind of lost him in the mix a little bit. I, I had him program my num his number on my phone. Kind of lost him in the mix, and I would hear back from him occasionally. He was like, he's getting his equipment, and I was like, awesome. You know, he'd send me pictures of it and stuff. And, um, you know, a million dollars in 2020 during COVID. And, um, you know, what can you say? I, I, I wish the guy, I hope he does 10 times this year, that mount, because I want to see him do good. He's a hard-working fellow. You know, sometimes this is not easy, you know. Um, it's nighttime out here. We work today. We're working tonight. I kind of ready for bed, but we're going to be out here a few more hours and make thousands of dollars. So this, this is, I'd rather this keep me up at night, Apex, than other worries, like, is the electricity going to be shut off tomorrow? That'll keep you up, too. Ain't that the truth, so, man. <laughs> I'd rather just keep me up, you know? <clears throat> you any good questions? We've got multiple. Let's hit them. Okay. A-Line says 20-minute dry time. Probably not even that out here. Um, we might have seven minutes, eight minutes. Big Rob says, just the buildings for now, although sidewalks need it, parking lots need to be done on two of the properties. Hey, go after the dumpster pads, too. If they have them dumpster pads, man, you're in you're in there now. Um, go back. You might not make a ton of money. You're not going to get rich doing those dumpster pads, but it keeps you in their face. It keeps invoices rolling in. You become their go-to guy. And, man, I could write a book on that, the, the money I've made by being there for my customer through thick and thin. Um, you know, when times are good, when times are bad, you're always there to service their needs and uh, you can have some very large contracts uh, be opened up for you. Um, Staying for JT says, where are you from? Now, so we're right here near Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You might can tell some of our accent, Apex especially. <laughs> Whatever yeah. it was, man. Yeah. You have a little casual <laughs> accent. 
Yeah, I'm some. I'm what happens if you mix the city boy accent with the country boy accent. Okay. Oh, yeah, Baton Rouge is a beautiful town. It's you know it's got its um it, overall. You know it's it's a gorgeous town to visit. Y'all ever in there? Hammond too. You know we got our flaws and stuff. Our, our cities aren't perfect, but most of these people around here are extremely helpful. You know, um, hospitality is their thing, and the food is amazing. As you might can all tell, we're gaining weight eight back. <laughs> We've been eating good, huh? Yeah, I'll tell you what. Um, okay. Everybody so give a shout comments. out to Apex. He closes on his house in a few days. Congratulations, Mr. Apex. You're going to get them golden keys in your hand, huh? Hopefully, man. I'm not counting my chickens till they're fully hatched and the fat lady sang. <laughs> Yeah, you're close on it. And Mike Jones says, well, before I talk about him, guys, I'm telling you, pressure washing and parking lot striping especially, you know, working with Billy, I, it's it's brought me into a very good income, very, you know, comfortable life. I'm not worried about things that I used to worry about. I'm not worried about gas. I'm not worried about food. I'm not worried about my bills. So if gas fluctuates 10 or 15 cents a gallon, it, it matters not. It, it's negligible to me. You know, it, I used to, when I was poor, it was like doing math problems all day, man. Like now I don't have to worry about any of that. I've seen and, people uh, literally pull up to the pump and get three or four dollars of gas in a big old SUV. And you know that obviously, you know, if they had the money, they'd fill it up, you know, and... We can't solve everyone's problems, but there's a bunch of people out there that can start washing and striping and uh, have a little more financial freedom. Yeah, and actually, I did a uh, striping job the other day. Um, and guys, by yourself, by myself, I've seen everything in Billy's course. I filmed a lot of it, and I'll tell you what. Um, I got a picture here. You mind if I show them? The... Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I got another yeah, picture. Yeah, that's a good picture. There's a good picture, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you can show a phone in a phone. It'll work. So, guys, check this out. This is a job that I did by myself using the techniques that I learned in Billy's course and, you know, with my time working with him. they them, paid you on it? They paid me. They were extremely happy. Look how sharp that is. Look how beautiful that came out. That's, that was Sunday where I had to take a day off. I was pretty much... Got, um, yeah, I had to take a day off that day. So Apex went and soaked it up, huh? Yep, got the check. They were very you, happy. But be honest, was you a little bit nervous or you had the confidence? I had the confidence. I mean, this is something that I've done a thousand times with you. It's just another day in the office for but me. by yourself, then? Actually. You felt the weight of it, I'm sure. Well, it's a double-edged sword. So I did have everything on my shoulders, but since it's my job and I can take forever and make sure that I do everything at, at my, you know, I, I had a, a bit less pressure to, to work quickly. I was able to, um, you know. You didn't have a lot of overhead. That's why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't have 15 other customers saying, when, when am I next? <laughs> yeah, I was able to... Um, I'll tell you what, and, and you were talking to one of the guys earlier on a phone call about this. I did that palette like a complete artist. Like, like. Show them what a palette is. This is what we call a palette, guys. An entire row of parking. I don't know even where the term came from, but that's, that's what we've always called it and other people in the industry. That's what we talk about when we say a palette, uh, a complete subsection of a parking lot, basically. Yep, and when we're pressure washing, when we see these big squares of concrete, we call these panels. I'm going to set this down on here. All right. Oh, we got a lot of comments. Okay. Got 22 people in here, 11 likes. We appreciate that, guys. Why don't go over here while you're answering some of those questions. I'm going to show them something. All right. Rubik says, congrats, Apex. Wild West says, hell yeah, Apex. Big Rob. Big Wild West, man. Yeah, Big Rob says, congrats, Apex. Jason says, hey, man, I'm from Hammond also, and I'm starting a pressure washing business, and I would like to know what insurance did you go through? Jason Jefferson. So, um, Jason, um, good friend of mine, 
Dawn at Steel Insurance. If you text me tomorrow, I'll get you her uh, information. She can sell in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas. If you're not in one of those states and you need her email address, I'll maybe try to put that in a, um, one of the comments later tonight once we finish. But um, she can line you up on the correct insurance provider. And guys, there is a lot of mistakes when buying insurance. And of course, in the striping course, we go over a bunch of that. But having someone that's on your side that wants your best interest at heart means the world. And this lady really does. Uh, she's, she's got plenty already. You know, she's been insurance all her life. So, she, you know, of course, she, you know, makes a great living. But she really takes each individual person and curtails that insurance policy around exactly what you're doing. You can go buy a blanket policy and pay out the nose for it. Or you can dial it in to your specific trade and be rated at code and there's called a rates and codes and um so yeah anyway steel insurance in hammond louisiana i think it's spelled s-t-i-h-l um but yeah her name is dawn and um anyone interested i can give you her information i don't make anything off it I, i'm just so passionate about it because she's she's done so well by us and other people we know yeah mike jones says congrats apex that's a huge goal chase your dreams brother Come over here, i'm gonna show you something all right so guys, whenever you're striping lines, here, let me see that. I like this little, okay. what's this little selfie stick? Yeah. Okay. Um, whenever you're striping lines, a lot of times what we have is wash back from rain. Whenever you have a grass curbing here and then your line meets this, sometimes this wash back will occur several feet into the parking line. Yeah. You know, sometimes two feet, sometimes three feet. That really needs to be cleaned off very well. You can't paint over that, especially if it's got organics in it. But you can broom that off, blow it off. Sometimes you got a power wash, sometimes you got a wire brush it. But don't paint over that dirt because what'll happen a few days later, that paint gets washed away because it's not sticking anything, it's sticking to that dirt. But that's a really big culprit of you know not doing good work is making sure where that wash back is over where the rain hits in and it come floods back into this area, that little bit of line right there will have a lot of debris and trash on it. Don't paint over it for sure. Let's see what uh, comments here. Now, another question I get commonly, it, this is a prime example of these cracks here. We don't do anything with that. We just paint right over it. Now, if the customer wants those filled, we will. Of course, it's an extra charge, but needless to say, if there's grass growing up through these cracks, go ahead and pull that out. Don't paint over grass. It looks, looks terrible.